All right, so the point of uh, today's video is to explore how bad the commute is. That is normally follow the road for six miles. 24 minutes from Holly Springs out to uh, nearby RDU here in the Triangle area in North Carolina. And so it's part, uh, this is uh, sort of uh, four lane highway, not really highway with the, with the um, stop, stop lights but also kind of like the interstates, the, the Route 1 slash 64, as well as um, Route 40, where autopilot version one should excel, theoretically. So the question is, how bad of a commute is this? Um, it's estimated as 20, uh, 24 minutes right now. So, is it too onerous? And the question is, Let's say you were about to get a Model 3 or a Model S or a Model X. Is it worth it to buy such an expensive car or to tr trade up? Uh, if that means that you can uh, live a little bit further away, maybe even 10 minutes further away. So you, your commute time is going to be 10, 10 minutes times 2, 20 minutes, but maybe you're going to be paying a little bit less for the for the cost of living and can actually can therefore afford a, a safer car so yeah I'm, I'm planning to explore several uh, towns around here in the future just to find out what the options are. You know, do you buy a house near your work and uh, pay the premium? Or do you um, or do you move further out and save a little bit of money and uh, perhaps purchase uh, an electric car or any car with uh, these kinds of autopilot features? I understand that many other automakers, Ford, GM, are also working on this technology. And uh, besides providing higher levels of safety, hopefully it also makes your uh, commute much more bearable. So right now, it's much, not very, uh, it's just regular commute, just like you would be in a normal car. I'm not using autopilot. The only saving grace is uh, I don't have to use the brakes as much in an electric car that I would in a, in a gasoline vehicle. So with an automatic, the car just coasts. Uh, and uh, with an electric, as, as soon as you let off the gas, the car starts slowing down. So you have a much better control over uh, the vehicle in the linear fashion in this case and um, you're able to it's, it's just basically not as frustrating to s speed up and to slow down because of traffic in an electric car manual transmission again uh, you have much better control but you need to use the clutch you need to use the shifter you need to uh, switch gears so yes you have better control in the manual but uh, in, in stop and go traffic it's uh, it's a bother. So technically out here right now I can use the autopilot because it is a divided highway. There are no stoplights coming up. Obviously I have to watch for them. And uh, right now the car is steering itself. But it's really a question, at least with hardware one, is is it worth the trouble to use autopilot? if there are stoplights and such. Bottom line is, uh, as long as you pay attention to the road, you keep both of your hands on the steering wheel and are prepared to take over at any time. Like right now, something is coming up, right? 
So the car is slowing down. Yep, the car slowed down. So people are taking the toll road here. So We still have two miles to go. Let's switch lanes. So autopilot did all of that. I just checked to make sure it was safe. All right, stoplight coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch lanes. but I will take myself off of autopilot here. And don't forget to apply gas, otherwise the car starts slowing down rather fast. I mean, technically I could let autopilot slow the car down, but um, yeah, hardware one is not designed for this kind of driving, even though I have seen people use it. And I have tested it. But uh, on a regular basis, uh, I would not be using it to, um, to, because the thing is, if somebody runs the red light, you're gonna just follow through. So you don't wanna use uh, use autopilot hardware one to uh, have the car stop and rely on uh, on the vehicle ahead of you. Now with hardware two, which all vehicles produced from uh, October October 2016 onward. Uh, even though right now they're just reaching parity with what my car can do, they actually have all the um, all the different cameras uh, to be able to l see around the car uh, and as well as in front of the car and be able to recognize stop signs um, and traffic lights and react to them this uh, the video showing showing this off on the regular streets with like 25 mile per hour speed limit came out uh, back in November there were two videos one was in October one that was announced and then there was another video a month later and uh, the one that is uh, the more recent one is the one that has the Benny Hill theme song or, or uh, Pain in Black uh, song depending on the version of the um, video that you watch. So it's a sped up video but it is a continuous video where you can see especially if you find the, uh, the version that uh, is um, slowed down um, like uh, to real time you will see how what the, what the car is doing and it's quite impressive it's not in the uh, in the hands of the public just yet but over time uh, they will be rolling out these uh, features over the over the air with software updates as they as they prove them out and uh, they become um, there you go so we have a traffic slowdown let's engage autopilot I've engaged autopilot so I don't have to use uh, the brake and the gas pedal. So obviously there's a backup of traffic. So this this is very uh, even if you enable the uh, the cruise control, which manages your speed and not the steering. This is uh, much more relaxing in terms of such traffic jams. So this actually, you're not going to be as tired basically after standing in something like this. You don't have to press the gas pedal at all or the brake pedal. The car is doing it for you. And Tesla, they're quite good. They when I first got the car, I think it was in version 7 point something, 7.1 I think. And uh, 
it was a little bit rough in terms of uh, this kind of traffic. It was a little bit, um, you would slow down a little bit faster than uh, you would if you were driving on your own and uh, speed up a little bit sooner or quicker rather uh, if uh, the traffic cleared. And they fine-tuned this. With 8.0, it was better. Uh, and then uh, 8.0 actually had several minor revisions to it. And you, you, could, you could tell that the autopilot had become more and more fine-tuned, where right now, if you were the passenger in the car, you wouldn't be able to tell that uh, I'm not the one driving the car. So the car is driving itself, basically. I just have my foot prepared to, uh, to brake or whatever. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so full autonomy, even though it's going to take some time to get approved in uh, the various juris jurisdictions around the world, jurisdictions, uh, different countries, different states, uh, maybe mun municipalities, I don't know provinces. Um, the point of the whole thing is that the hardware will, the hardware is there, the software will be rolled out and as long as you don't break any laws, i.e. you have your hands on the wheel and you are prepared to take over at any time, those you, you can start taking advantage of, of those features even, even before you know the fully self-driving cars are allowed to drive just on their own without even you know anybody be, being behind the wheel so as long as you've got driver's license uh, and you take full responsibility for the car you learn how to use the technology and uh, you're comfortable with it um, you will be able to use uh, hardware to options where it will be able to recognize the, um, the stoplights it will be able to recognize stop signs Okay, there's uh, so here's a situation where I will need to change lanes. So I took myself off of autopilot and I've uh, wow, okay. Now this is probably not the best time of the uh, of the morning to start construction. sake I'm going to turn on the uh, rear view camera so you can see what's happening behind the car I normally don't use it when driving but I imagine you're not able to see out of these side mirrors but hopefully you can hear me on this microphone I'll probably switch this over on this Alright, I'm gonna change lanes now. No?
quick of a switch. I just sped up about five miles to get past this truck. Really easy. And now I'm gonna slowly come down to the 65, and then I'm gonna merge back in the right lane. So the car is maintaining 64 because the car in front is going 64. And I have the, uh, the following distance set at 7 so that people can always uh, cut in and uh, change lanes if they, if they have to. And this is actually good. It's good for... Uh, like I don't, I don't feel being cut off at all uh, because the car is doing all the driving. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not pissed off about it. But if you were like, driving on your own, uh, then you'll probably be first of all following much closer second of all feel like people cut you off when they try to uh, switch lanes and whatnot so overall once you get comfortable with uh, what autopilot does but not too comfortable not to keep your hands on the wheel this is a very relaxing experience obviously I've put on thousands of miles uh, on interstates on autopilot already so after six months they have quite a bit of experience with autopilot but you still have to pay attention you have to know where the car is going you have to understand the trajectory it's taking so I understand the interchanges that are coming up. Oh, there's a model Lex merging in. Over there, a gray one. what kind of license plate that is. Looks like a temporary one of some sort. Even, even if it is a license plate at all.
it as a Fiat. So I'm doing this manually. six in the morning right now I don't know if this is the heaviest traffic time or not but I have seen uh, I-40 being red uh, around 8 o'clock so I don't know if it's the same every day but so far the commute is not that bad at all I guess about five minutes of driving regular roads and then the rest of it is interstates So the only thing is really those inter uh, interchanges that are a little bit daunting. Other than that, the, the car is driving most, of the, the car is doing most of the driving. I 
about autopilot is that you have to use turn signal to switch lanes. That in and of itself is a safety feature right there because lots of people just don't use turn signals at all, even on, on the interstates or even making a left turn at the stoplight. I've seen that happen too. All right, this is our exit. This, this uh, experience here was not too bad. Um, so going back to the um, analysis of uh, doesn't make sense. Western Parkway. Does it make sense to uh, maybe move 10 minutes or 15 minutes further and buy an electric car or any car that has autopilot functionality? in the future. Does it make sense if it costs a little bit more? Do you save money this way? Uh, is this a good investment? I think the verdict is yes. Anyway, if you like the video, remember to like it to help it spread. Subscribe to the channel to uh, be alerted of any new videos coming up. I hope the uh, sound quality was okay with this uh, with this microphone here. Uh, something new I'm testing out. Hopefully, I don't have to do any post processing to the audio to fix it. Yeah. So that's about it. Thanks. Until next time.